What happens when you skip a meal? Anyone looking to lose weight knows they have to restrict the amount of calories they consume. But how much and when to restrict those calories can make all the difference. A recent study conducted at Ohio State University has revealed that skipping meals not only leads to abdominal weight gain, by promoting belly fat storage. Skipping meals can also lead to the development of increases risk for insulin resistance in the liver. This does support the notion that small meals throughout the day can be helpful for weight loss. Though that may not be practical for many people. Martha Bellary, professor of human nutrition at Ohio State University is the study author. If you skip meals to save calories, it sets your body up for larger fluctuations in insulin and glucose and could be setting you up for more fat gain instead of fat loss. The study found that the weight of the restricted diet group was similar to the unlimited diet group. But, restricted diet group gained more of belly fat. Weight around the belly is often associated with insulin resistance and higher risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease. This is basically binging and then fasting. Some people do eat just one large meal a day. Under conditions when the liver is not stimulated by insulin. Increased glucose output from the liver means the liver isn't responding to signals telling it to shut down glucose production. They won't be responding to insulin anymore and that state of insulin resistance is referred to as pre-diabetes. Gorging eating habits cause to finish their daily amount of food in around 4 hours and fast for the remaining 20 hours of the day. Gorging and fasting led to a spike and then a severe drop in insulin that causes a variety of metabolic issues. Restricted diet cause elevations in inflammation and a higher activation of genes that lead to the storage of fatty molecules and plumper fat cells, predominantly in the belly. Even though the gorging and fasting had about the same body weights as control, their adipose depots were heavier. If you're pumping out more sugar into the blood, adipose is happy to pick up glucose and store it. That makes for a happy fat cell, but it's not the one you want to have. We want to shrink these cells to reduce fat tissue. A similar study conducted at the Oregon Research Institute found that skipping meals or restricting the number of calories you consume each day can actually make unhealthy food more attractive. When adolescents who willingly curbed their eating habits were shown pictures of unhealthy but appetizing food, brain imaging showed a spike in hyperactivity. So, no matter the reason, skipping meals is depriving the body of essential nutrients. Martha Bellary, professor of human nutrition at Ohio State University, published the article in the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry on July 2015. Don't skip meals. Thank you for listening.